can you describe your team's project? It's basically to purify water, more grey water, by means of a reed bed and flow pump system. The reed bed will purify the water and the flow pump will further oxygenate the water to be sent back up to the toilet and flushing. What tests have you run to determine the functional efficiency of your uh, we performed an oxygen test to determine the concentration of oxygen in the water to, to see how suitable it would be for human use and we also conducted a nitrate test to, because for it to be suitable for human use it, used, it has to have a small, a significantly less amount of nitrogen than when it, has, than when it is in free water. Did your project come out the way that you planned or expected it to come out and if not, what is the difference between what you plan and what you have now? That is a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> Due to problems faced, it did, did not come out the way we initially planned, but it functions the way we expected it to. As in, it purifies the water, it cleanses the water by terms of aeration, and this is what we expected. Plan was to actually have the flow form in a separate area, not over the tank like, it, like what it is right now. So that is the only difference in what we were trying to do. And also we wanted to use concrete to make the actual spirals, but because we cannot mix concrete, probably, we can't, we can't, we can't, we tried, we tried, we tried, we tried, we, we tried, tried so hard, we tried a lot of things, we tried egg crates, we tried bottles, bottles and we tried pots, and pots. And it just didn't work at all, but it works no. <laughs> with, with PVC and wood. wood. How has the school population reacted to your project? Well, as you saw in our video, they reacted very vibrantly in terms they were willing to they were willing to be a part of our videos and they were willing to hear what we had to say and they um, really soaked in, you could say, the information that we spread. During lunch after school, they asked, what are you doing? We said, so let me tell you about this read bed. It was really a good experience. And our teachers also, every single time they went, they came by us, it's like, you're finished, you can explain what happened. So we were... The moral support was, was great. great. Incredible. How much water were you able to conserve by implementing this project? Atrius. We had an 83% reduction, reduction in the amount of water we used. All of you graduated next year? Yes. <laughs> oh, what plans you all have for continuity? Well... We were thinking about making a club. Actually, we discussed it with our principal. She yeah. has yeah. We just need a club mm -hmm. to build a club, a um, water conservation club, to teach the students about how to conserve water ways in which they can help save water. Yes. Just so we have it on the side of their homes, mm -hmm. I mean, it'll be easier to for them to put this together this way. Because not everybody have the yard space or the space at the back of their homes to put this together like this. Okay, so what made you choose that type of reef and not the normal ones that you see on the roadway? This is a common reef. We did our research basically. We went in the library, we read some books, we read online. And this reef is, is the reef that we found as a common reef and the reef that serves the purpose we want. To oxygenate the water. So you choose this. What can you use other than this reed to do what? Mostly water based plants. We will be in the process of finding okay. us. About how much, in terms of a distance, was your physical limitation? Well, you we safe. knew that in order for the water to flow, we had to have a gravitational because of it. So we needed at least four. At first, remember, we were saying that how this flow form was supposed to be to the side. Mm -hmm. We couldn't do it because of the lack of space horizontally, so we had to try to implement it vertically. And what we to decide on this form? Initially, we were going to use the solar pump, but it wasn't in our budget. So we just... Um, we went up. to the um, hardware, we asked some advice, and well, this is what we came up with. To show you what? how the project works, but it can be go... go or to the back. Yeah. 
anywhere. Away from anywhere. And yeah. all you could hear is the flow of, of the water. water. You all would have seen over the last month or two a couple of the videos being aired on TV. Which video or which school you all believe was the best in your humble opinion? Why? Which team or school that you feel could give you all good root for the prize money at the end of the competition? Well, we believe actually that Tokyo and Northeastern gave us some really tough competition. Mm -hmm. um, Northeastern, but they took a whole different approach on the project. They didn't do what most schools did. And was a very different way to view the project. They were different and they were unexpected and really made us think and reevaluate our project views. Y'all had an opportunity to be on television, yes? Yes. How was that experience for you? Have you now been orbited into celebrity mm -hmm. status? <laughs> People asking you for autographs, oh, pointing you out in the grocery when you're shopping with your mom. Uh, in the market yes. store. Yes. Okay. It was an amazing experience. I mean, I've been walking on the street. People are telling me, "Hey, I see you on TV." You it was well really good. good. It school. was really in good. School. And hey, my parents were so proud of me, and I'm glad that I had this opportunity to be on TV. Okay. Coming out of the competition, you would have learned a lot about water conservation. What tips could you give to children of our society where water conservation is concerned? I would say take sh shorter showers. <laughs> so, still, you know, um, turn off your tap while brushing your teeth to minimize the amount of water you use. I have little brothers who they don't turn off the tap properly. So close the tap tightly at home. Close the tap tightly. <laughs>